Hello, everyone. Let us last noise from the wanderinginvestor.com. So today I'm really excited to be sharing some breaking news with Sergey with regards to Mexico and a special program to obtain residency extremely easily. So, Sergey, how are you? Fine, fine. Thanks. Hello, everybody. So, Sergey, help me obtain residency here in Mexico. Yeah, we have a great news for this year. If you came to Mexico from 2015 till 2021, just once, uh, you can get the residence now for four years. It's temporary residence and you just need to come to Mexico now and we can start the process. They add one year more. It was till 2020, but now it's till 2021. And we can get this residence just in one week if you uh, want to accelerate the process or we can wait until the expiration date on your passport. And after these four years residence, for the fifth year, you can get permanent residence. And after fifth year, you can apply the documents for the naturalization process and get the Mexican citizenship. So this is absolutely incredible. Obtaining residency generally entails a lot of paperwork or banking and investments or time on the ground, et cetera. But in this case, all you needed to have done is to have gone to Mexico just for 24 hours at any point between 2015 and 2021, and you're eligible for this fast track four-year residency, just as a tourist. So you went to Cancun on spring break, you just did a border run across from uh, California or from Texas, you are eligible for residency for a four-year residency. You don't need to set foot in Mexico once you've obtained residency until year three and month 11, at which point you can apply if the rules don't change for permanent residency. And the cool thing with permanent residency in Mexico is that it's permanent. There's no minimum physical presence requirements or anything. It's for life. So amazing program. So Sergey. Yes. Why is the Mexican government doing this? Because we in Mexico still have now a lot of people who want to stay here for a long time. And that's the main reason why they continue this program for this year, too. Yeah, it's, it's like an amnesty. Cool. So the Mexican government is organizing an amnesty for illegal aliens. And you can, as a past tourist, you can benefit from it. So this is really, really interesting. Mexico is incredibly welcoming towards immigration, um, towards foreigners moving to Mexico or just obtaining residency in Mexico. So it's the sort of thing that really people should take advantage of. It's an easy first step in terms of obtaining a second residency overseas uh, to maximize your freedom, to have a potential plan B, and to be fair, in a country that's really cool. And as Sergey was saying, once you've lived in Mexico for five years, you can apply for citizenship. All they really want is that for the two years before you apply for citizenship, that you've spent 18 months actually physically in Mexico. So it's very doable to obtain Mexican citizenship. And yeah, that's right. And Sergey, you've been helping quite a lot of people with this program, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It was maybe about two two hundred tourists for the past year, just for this program. And I know, I know that a lot of people were trying to apply in late twenty twenty two. They weren't sure if they were, were going to make it, but the program got extended for one more year. So if you're one of these people out there, you still have a chance to get this Mexican residency. So if you want to get in touch with Sergey for this program or for any of the other residency programs in Mexico, or if you plan on having a, a child in Mexico, Sergey has a whole company helping with birth tourism in Mexico, then feel free. There's a link below and there's also Sergey's email. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I'll be waiting for the requests. All right. Cheers, Sergey. You can go to my website, thewanderinginvestor.com and sign up to the private list. It's entirely free. This way you will be getting insider information as I travel around the world looking for 
opportunities. Lastly, feel free to follow me on Instagram at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.